You're listening to Soap Dirt, the latest in television entertainment news. Hey, Days fans. Sarah Horton begins to recover her memories of the crash this week, and it's not going to be too long before she realizes Xander Cook's terrible, drunken mother, Fiona Cook, is the one that put her in that wheelchair. It's Belinda from Soap Dirt, and we're going to talk about whether Sarah and Xander's marriage can survive this horrible reveal. So it's this Friday when Sarah gets a glimpse of her memories, just a flash, really. It's of the act accident, the car swerving towards her, bright lights in her eyes, not a lot else. Xander's there when she gets the flash of recollection, and so is his mom, Fiona, who, to her credit, is actually trying to stay sober right now after, you know, decades and decades of being an alcoholic, neglectful, very unkind mother. So next week, though, things get worse for Sarah, because first, Fiona realizes her daughter-in-law's memories are coming back, and she wants to to shut it down. And of course, she can't exactly muzzle Sarah, but spoilers for Monday the night, say Fiona tries to stop the inevitable. So maybe when Sarah starts talking about her memories, Fiona tells her, just let it go. You know, Brady confessed, all that. And Sarah's also having just some struggles with her new physical limitations and things like that. And then obviously issues because Sarah likes Brady, but then she's having to deal with the fact that someone she likes and who's a friend of hers did this to her. Just not good stuff. And at this point, Fiona has no problem throwing Brady under the bus after she threw Sarah under her car. This woman is truly diabolical in just the most casual of ways, just casually evil. So next Thursday, we have some official spoilers that says Fiona spends some time thinking about what she's done to Sarah, how she put her in the wheelchair. Meanwhile, Brady gets legal advice and some brotherly advice and some ex-girlfriend advice. Justin wants Brady to stop confessing to events that he cannot remember. That's making his job as a lawyer very hard. Eric Brady says much the same thing once he's back in town. And Kristen Demera next week tells Brady, stop throwing your life away because it's going to hurt our daughter, Rachel. The good news is that Brady should be off the hook pretty soon. Spoilers for Friday, September 13th say that Marlena Evans hypnotizes Sarah to help get those memories back. That should absolutely freak Fiona. Fiona out because we all know that Doc is very good at hypno- hypnosis and digging things out of people's brains that are hidden. Think about all the pawn stuff she's helped John with. So this Sarah thing shouldn't be a big deal. And it's not going to be too much longer until Sarah remembers that it wasn't Brady behind the wheel that night and it was Fiona. So meanwhile, Xander is heavily invested in seeing Brady Black pay for Sarah's injuries, for her pain, for her paralysis. So it's going to be a bitter pill for Xander to swallow when he realizes that Brady is innocent and his own mom is guilty. And what then? So in terms of putting their marriage at risk, I don't think Sarah would dump him, you know, despite the shocking revelation that his mom put her in the wheelchair. Instead, what I'm worried about is that Xander may think he doesn't deserve to have Sarah in his life and he may offer to walk away. Something like that. Xander hasn't forgotten how devastated Sarah was when it came out that he swapped Kristen's baby for little Mickey, the baby of Sarah and Eric's that died after her last car crash. And of course, Sarah walked walked away from Xander after he did that dirty deed for Ava of kidnapping Susan Banks, which turned into kidnapping Bonnie. And, you know, Susan was presumed dead for many months and Sarah didn't like that at all. And Xander wants to be a better man for Sarah. And I do think he is a better man at this point, but he may not feel like it once the truth about Fiona comes out. Xander may be ashamed that in the past he's hurt Sarah emotionally several times and now his mom Fiona has hurt Sarah physically in the most devastating way. I mean, she put her daughter-in-law in a wheelchair. It's just terrible. And Maggie and Xander are dealing with some of Sarah's frustration and anger soon at her physical limitations now that she is stuck in the chair. It's going to affect every facet of her life, her work as a doctor, her ability to be a mom to little Victoria. And so now more than ever, Sarah really needs Xander. 
older, but he may think that he's toxic for her. And that being said, I don't think Xander would leave Sarah unless she tossed him out the door. And even then, I think he would camp there in the rain. But, you know, it is the worst case scenario that Fiona is the culprit, especially since it was Sarah who insisted that she wanted Xander's mom to come to Salem for their wedding and then encouraged her to stay. And now all this has happened. You know that saying, no good deed goes unpunished. I mean, poor Sarah. She really wanted Xander to have this reunion with his mom. And now there's all this. And here's what else I'm wondering, though. I, I'm sure that Sarah and Maggie and Xander are all going to be absolutely shocked and horrified by the reveal. And it might lessen the impact of all of it if Fiona actually confessed, if she came clean before Sarah remembered. But I just don't think she will, because it's bad enough that Sarah was run over by Fiona and screwed up her life. But Fiona also seems more than willing to ruin Brady's life also. And that's somebody that Sarah cares about. And of course, Maggie does too. Xander doesn't like Brady, but he's not going to be okay with Fiona letting Brady take the fall for her drunk driving. And here's what else I wonder. After the initial shock, will Maggie try and help Fiona? You know, Maggie has struggled with years of her own addiction issues, and she's been in a very similar situation to this. You remember when she thought that she ran Adrian and Sarah off the road, killed Adrian, killed her granddaughter, Mickey. Of course, it turned out that Maggie was framed, but for a while there, she really thought she did it because she had been boozing again and it was her awful drunk daughter who's now dead. So in a way, Fiona might wind up with an ally in Maggie. Even now with Brady thinking he ran over Sarah, you know, we've seen Maggie being kind to him because she understands everything he's going through with the addiction struggle. So Maggie might offer an olive branch to Fiona, may offer to help her get sober and atone for what she's done. I suspect Xander is not going to be that forgiving and is going to want his mom to rot in jail. So a while back, my leaker told me that Fiona may have some sort of terminal illness, cancer, something like that, end stage. And that's why she doesn't care about maintaining her sobriety. My leaker doesn't have a perfect track record. They have a pretty good track record. And the whole terminal illness thing is interesting. But I have to say, as of now, we've seen no signs of it. Not yet. Ever since Fiona came to town and got involved with Brady, all we've seen is her just partying, getting drunk and getting a hot younger man in her bed. There's been no doctor visits. We haven't seen her taking medication, anything like that, you know, looking weak, coughing, hacking, whatever the symptoms might be. So it does remain to be seen whether the leak is right. And there is some underlying medical condition, you know, if there were, then Xander might be more forgiving knowing his mom has her time running out. And I do think Sarah will absolutely be outraged at first when it comes out. But then that I think is going to soften again, because she's watched her mom struggle over the years. Maggie has had a hard road with her sobriety. And so I also think it's going to be tempered because Sarah's not going to be stuck in that chair permanently. We all know she's going to be able to walk again. So for now, though, we're just down to counting the days until Fiona Cook is outed as the DUI hit and run driver. And I'll heck breaks loose in Sarah and Xander's life. And again, I don't think they're going to wind up divorced because this is true love, happily ever after stuff. Not that soaps let people last forever, but I do expect that this Fiona reveal could seriously rock their marriage. But I, I hope and I believe that they're going to come out stronger in the end. Let me know what you guys think about all of this. Please drop your comments. Definitely subscribe if you're not following us already and come back soon. It's me, Belinda from Soap Dirt, talking days of our lives with you seven days a week. Thank you for being a loyal listener. Follow us wherever you get your podcast because you don't want to miss the next episode. Soap Dirt is on all the major podcast platforms, including Apple Podcasts, Spotify, iHeartRadio, and more. <laughs>